Hello my friends, it is Caddy. I'm back with another process video for Spiegel Mom Scraps. I'm beginning with this stencil from Prima and my Shimmers Dazzlers in See You in the Morning. That's the name of the color. And I had already done the top portion, I'm just doing the bottom portion. This is a really fun stencil by Prima. It's sort of a scallop and it goes from biggest to smallest. So it's really, really pretty. Um, and I definitely wanted to use that. So I made a little boo-boo there on the side and I just uh, wiped it off with my little spatula and it came right off. So I did let that dry and now I did pull out my Paige Evans Take Me Away uh, things that I have in my stash. And I don't have a lot of this collection. I have a few sheets of 12 by 12 paper. I have uh, the 6 by 6 paper pad and I have those um, thickers with the words but I won't end up using the thickers. So I'm going through the 6x6 paper pad and trying to see what I want to do. And I want to have some layers behind my photo. Um, I wanted to use this pink paper also um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off a few strips and I'm going to use those on either side of the layout just to bring some color um, and to keep the vertical design going. So I did cut one smaller than the other. I'm going to have the uh, thicker one to the left and the other one on the right. Um, and I'm going to start pulling out a few papers here from the 6x6 paper pad. Again, this is all from the Paige Evans Take Me Away 6x6 paper pad. So I'm just grabbing random ones and just going with those. So I take uh, one of the um, green or minty green papers with vertical stripes. I take the one with the little hexagons on it. I'm going to do um, a blue wood grain and then I'm going to do a yellow um, with white polka dots so I just do four layers behind my photo and uh, they're just really tight layers if you guys watch my channel you guys know that's what I love to do just tight layers behind my photo so I'm going to take some fun foam here and this is just inexpensive craft fun foam and I'm just adhering that to the back of my photo to make my photo pop up a little bit so I decided I wanted to fill those little scallops. So I took this little piece of paper from the 6x6 paper pad, which has a bunch of patterns on it, and I'm just cutting or punching out uh, patterns with my uh, circle punch. And then I just cut them in half, and I'm just filling in the scallops, as you can see there. First, I thought I was just going to do a couple, but I decided to go ahead and do all of them, except for those middle ones there, which are really small, which I could have used a... Um, a small hole punch for those but I didn't want to. So I take some of this washi tape which is just sitting in my stash and it's um, it's a, a turquoise washi tape and it has um, diagonal orange and white stripes and it matches um, this collection the colors match so I decided to use it. I don't know what uh, made me use washi but I did and I'm glad I did because I don't use washi enough <laughs> and I have a ton of it so I'm glad that I used it. So I use a piece there on the left side and I'm going to use a piece here on the right and I think I'm going to move that right piece a little bit because I thought it was just showing too much. I just wanted a little hint of that color or a smaller hint of that color. So I'm just going to pull that up and just reposition that a little bit closer to the edge. Just a little bit. It wasn't a big deal but I just wanted less of it showing there on the side. And here I go repositioning it again. That's the great thing about washi tape. You can pull it up bring it down and, and nothing happens as long as you do it carefully of course <laughs> so I for the fourth time I'm repositioning it and I think this is it yep that's it so um, I go ahead and stick down my pink piece of paper there as well so um, at this point I have all of my little half circles uh, glued down and I just use a little bit of glue with my scotch quick dry adhesive in my fine line bottle and I just did a dot of glue behind each one and that went pretty quickly um, I'm taking, I take out these sequins, these are from the store, uh, they are the Hot Right Now sequin mix. And I'm going to take some of the navy and the yellow ones, and I'm going to just scatter them around in uh, different areas. So in the bigger circles I'm going to have the yellow ones, and then in the smaller circles I'm going to have blue ones. Um, I thought about using these thickers, and they are so pretty and so fun, but I don't end up using them. Um, they were just not working for me on this layout. Um, I wanted something a little bit um, a little bit more simple. I thought about using that smile, which I could have used there over the photo, but I don't end up using that either. Uh, I end up using something else for my title. So I pull out 
these. These are from the Pink Fresh Studio, the Indigo Hills. This is one of the newest collections. I end up using those and I write out Manta because I am uh, taking a selfie and I have Mantas in the background. This is an island that we went to um, off of Bimini. Bimini is an island of the Bahamas. So I did uh, go ahead and take a picture with those Mantas. It's just an island off of Bimini and, and we went there by boat. And you could just, you get off your boat and you just walk to the shore and there are mantas there. <laughs> you Oh, well, you feed them, they're there. So yeah, we went with some um, friends of friends that uh, knew about the island. So they kind of guided us there <laughs> and they had food. So the mantas all came and they were huge and it was super cool. It was a little bit scary, but it was cool. <laughs> so my title is Manta Selfies. And then the selfies are using little tiny letter stickers, which are from Basic Gray. Those are from the B-Side collection. So uh, I'm going to stagger my Manta, and I'm actually going to pop up. I'm going to use some, um, uh, what is it called? Scotch foam tape, which you can see there. I have my big roll, and I'm going to pop up the A and the T just to give it some uh, more dimension. And I did stagger them, so it looks kind of um, cool. So that's going to be my title, it's Manta Selfies. And um, yeah, this was a really fun day for us. Um, you can see the water is beautiful. The water matches the color of the shimmers um, that I use the Dazzlers really perfectly. So um, it's a really nice, um, it's a really nice color and, um, and that uh, shimmers was perfect. So I'm going to add a whole row of these blue sequins underneath my um, selfies there in the little half circles there, the little scallop circles there, um, the small ones, and I'm just sticking down the other ones, and I'm using glue dots to stick down these sequins, like I always tell you guys, glue dots are the best to stick down um, any sequins, so I'm just sticking all of them down, as you can see, I just stick my sequin on my little glue dot in the little uh, packaging, and then I just transfer it to the page, and it sticks down perfectly, and that will hold forever, and ever, and ever. So uh, there I go, just adding the final ones, which are the blue ones there to the smaller circles. And I just kind of scatter them around very randomly. No rhyme or reason at all, just here and there. So then I go to my 6x6 paper pad, and I'm going to see, because I don't have the ephemera pack. I don't know why I didn't buy the ephemera pack. I think I didn't. I don't know. I really don't know. But um, I take out a few pieces of paper here that I think maybe I want to use. Um, and there's this one that has a cut apart, and I'm thinking I maybe want to use one of the little cut aparts, but I don't end up using it. Um, so I take this one, which has a bunch of different stripes and different colors, and I actually start cutting um, out the stripes or the the yeah the stripes, and realize that I really like the different colors in it. So I'm going to use those. This little um, what is it called? A sewing embroidery embroidery loop? Embroidery hoop is what it's called, I think. But it was just too light. Um, I noticed some of the patterns in the 6x6 paper pad are lighter than the actual 12x12 patterns. So that was really light. So I take this one, which has all the different color stripes, and I just start cutting them apart, and I start placing them between my scallops. And I just did this kind of to see um, how it looked, and I really, really liked it. I think it added a lot of interest to this layout. So I just cut them apart and they're really thin. Some are thinner, some are thicker. Um, and I'm just adhering them lightly and I will go back and adhere them with some Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive. But I was just kind of messing around but I really, really like how it looked. So I decided to go for that all the way. So I'm gonna use this washi here, um, which is also from my stash. It's a navy washi with some coral flowers. And I'm gonna leave it there for a while but I will end up taking it off. Um, in the end, I just didn't like it. Um, <laughs> I, I like the fact that it brought navy to the sides of the layout, but I just did not like, um, I didn't like it for this layout. Um, as much as I love the color, because I do love navy, but um, I did trim one down, a piece of washi down to add to the other side, since the other side is a little bit thinner, but I don't end up liking that at all. <laughs> um, I just take it off. I did also add a diagonal stripe yellow washi tape there on top of the pink so you will see that because that will stay on so i pull out the ephemera pack since i don't have the page evans ephemera pack i take out the one here from the um pink fresh studios indigo hills and i'm just taking out a few bits and pieces here that i think maybe i'll use so i'm just kind of moving things around here and there 
and um, and trying to see what I want to use and what I don't want to use. So I'm just going to end up using a few pieces from that ephemera pack. Um, I don't love that ephemera pack either, if I'm going to be completely honest. Um, there's some pieces that are really pretty, but it's just some of them just don't, I don't know, they just don't don't work for me. So we'll see how I use that. Um, I'm going to use it, of course. I'm going to try to use as much of it as I can, but um, we'll see. So I trimmed down the washi tape thinking maybe um, less of that pattern would make me happier, but in the end I just take it off. Um, so I pull out these cloudy day felties from the store from Speak Old Mom Scraps and I am just going to kind of layer them. I love those clouds. I love adding them to my layout. They're so fun. So I did go ahead and add those clouds. I do add some, whoops, sorry, that's my alarm. I do add some tangled thread. I'm going to add the... Um, just a turquoise one. I'm going to add it behind the clouds and I'm going to add it there to the left of my photo. And I am just kind of putting the finishing touches on here. I'm going to add that thread behind my photo, um, I'm sorry, behind my clouds. And then I decided I wanted to add some color to my clouds. So you're going to see me add some color in just a minute here. But I'm going to take out this shimmers, um, which I got from the shop as well. It's a shimmers, uh, it's called Blue Jeans. And I'm just uh, kind of just dabbing or spraying my cloud with it and I just dab it on the paper and I love this color it's really really pretty it's a pretty blue and it matches um, one of the strips that I have there under the selfies which has little hearts it's that same uh, blue kind of purplish tone so it matched that strip and that so I decided to use that I do add some splatters as well in the same blue jeans color because I really like um, and I wanted to add some more of that color throughout so I do add some splatters of that and let's see I'm just adhering down my um, my clouds with my thread behind them and just adding the one up top there and I just kind of layer them on top of each other so I decided to use this piece um, this one says moments captured with love with a heart and I just trimmed off the white border. Um, I just felt it was too much white, so I trimmed off the white border, and then I just popped it up and added that next to my title there. And I'm also going to use a uh, this triangle, which I uh, also I think I also trimmed maybe. Uh, there's where I decided I didn't like that washi, so <laughs> off it goes. Um, so I use that one, that triangle there on my photo. It says all smiles here, and then I'm going to use those two little flowers that are uh, different shades of navy there next to my photo. I will also add with those pink basic gray letters the word Bimini at the bottom just so I kind of know where this was taken. And that is it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you have any questions or comments please do leave them below. Make sure you visit the shop and use my code CADDY15 for 15% off your purchase. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye!